Hi everybody, my name is Meg, and look how cool my house is. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cool. Let's go look at it. Notice how it's raining and snowing? Oh no, but if we go inside and venture downward, it is no longer raining and snowing because I'm inside a dome. Because I'm cool. And this is the greatest idea I've ever had. And I speculated doing this for a really long time. And I just got really lazy and decided that I didn't want to do it for a while. But then the other day I was thinking, how cool would it be if I just covered my entire property with glass? Because I would never have to deal with weather. I would never have to deal with any kind of crap going around in my house. It would just be the coolest thing ever. And so I, with the help of my friend Mr. Seymour Games, built a dome around my house and it's the coolest thing ever. Now, with the help of said Seymour games, I've also done a few of other notable achievements, one of them being finding a golden apple. Now, proof, you say? Let's look at it. There it is. There it is. This is the golden apple. I'm going to hold it in my hand. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to jump around with it. This is the golden apple of power. And I've told this is one of the rarest mob drops in the entire game. I had no idea. I'm not even the one that found the dungeon. Seymour found it. And all of a sudden he just starts freaking out. He's like, you found a golden apple in your dungeon. This is amazing. And I was like, I found a golden what? So I guess I have a golden apple. It's amazing. I'm thrilled to have it. And so we built this shrine to the all-seeing, all-knowing golden apple. I'm never going to eat it. I never plan on touching it. There's a reason that it's here in the shrine, covered by cookies and bread. Because I never want to touch it. I never want to eat it. It's being guarded by my dogs. They make sure that it's safe. But I'm very excited about my golden apple. Now, the new mob spawn. Let me go show it to you because it's very cool. Oh yeah, I also put glass over my fireplace because it was dangerous. I fell in. But anyway, my new mob spawn. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's go to sleep first. Guys, how cool is my house? Just, it's so cool. This glass dome that I built over the top of it. Yes, we farmed all of this sand. None of it is duped. We actually went out to the coast over on the other side over there and we dug out like the entire beach and farmed all of this sand. And I have like, there's like, you can see there's four ovens down there plus we built like three more ovens inside of my house. And there's just so much sand. <laughs> and it's the coolest thing ever. Oh yeah. Another thing he did is he fixed my farm. You can see it's much much more organized now. <laughs> I didn't care before, but apparently it drove him nuts. My, my farm was like completely <laughs> random. That's right, die. Anyway, <laughs> after I was attacked. <clears throat> so yeah, now it's all orderly and pretty and it works. My pumpkins are still there, I insisted that he leave the pumpkins randomly sitting inside of my garden because I like them. So now my sugar cane is all separate away from it and I have like my normal garden and it looks all pretty and nice now. And so that's another thing that he did. But guys, it's just so cool. I'm so excited about how awesome my house is. So this is my dome home. That's what we call it. The dome home. And it's awesome. Let's go ahead and close this and let's sleep. Just let the lava... It's like a lava lamp. Okay. Off we go, and I will show you the mob spawner. If there's any... I'm not sure if there's any minecarts up here, actually. We might have to go make some. It's been a while. <laughs> and if I remember... Nope, there's one mob minecart left. Okay. So what happened is... um, There's like a random hole in the ground over there. And he just started digging, Seymour did, and all of a sudden he was doing the thing where you can like see into 
the you know you can see into the actual you know you can see all the caves you know if you walk back and forth in like a straight area and that's when he found the dungeon and so he just starts running he just takes off and starts running towards the dungeon and I just follow because I'm like okay I don't know what's going on and he found another dungeon and so this is the second dungeon that I found on my map I can't really find dungeons because I don't know why I can't but I can't find dungeons pick up the sword but this is the other dungeon that we found on my map Numero dos. And here it is. So, what I want to do is I want to make a grinder. I don't really know how to make a grinder. I've watched one tutorial and I'm gonna try it. But to the best of my knowledge, what you do is like, I put water in this wall over here and then it pushes it down into this wall. And then what I do is I go through back here go behind it and then I like hit their feet and it kills them because I dig holes right here right here and right here and so does that sound right it seems right let's do it looks like this would be a taller wall right there right there and right there yeah okay plus it needs something behind it Okay. So we do that and then I don't think I have any buckets. Yes I do. But there's no water down here. I'm silly. I did not think I had. So we'll have to go back to the surface but that's okay. And they come back here. So pretty much what we're gonna do is right here. I'll fix it, hang on. Right there and right here. And we'll have to fill in that hole. Okay. Then we go ahead and come back here. And we dig behind. I'm not sure how many blocks back I need to go. One, two, three, four. So this is four blocks from there. So one, two, three, four, okay, five. So we're behind it. So we need to go right here. I think. Right, okay. I'm not entirely sure what I'm even doing. Like I said, I just I saw this. This is the only tutorial I've seen. Which is okay. Oh, that's lava, that's lava. That's lava. You would just make things difficult, wouldn't you, Lava? That's what you do. I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. So, um... That complicates things. A bit. With the lava. So I don't want them to fall on that because if they fall on the lava then I don't get their goodies. And I want let me place. Not sure why. If I could just place this like in there. Like in there. In there. In. Tag nab it. I might have to go get some water and just kind of cobblestone it up in here. Let's go do that. Let's just go upstairs and get some buckets, guys. 
Ugh, oh, stupid mob spawner has to be in the middle of a friggin' lava pit. It's to be spiteful, it is. You know that it is. Go! Silly Steve. Actually, I'm a girl. Can you see me? No, not really. But I'm beautiful. Okay, so we need another bucket. And we need... Some water. In our buckets. It's really handy that it came out right by the railroad. This mob spawner of mine. Very handy. Look at that. Buckets of water. Fantastic. Done. Easiest thing ever. Okay, so first I'm going to want to make an infinite water source. Then... No, come here. Dang it, that's the first one I've missed. I was doing so well. I was doing so well. Okay, let's go. I guess theoretically I could do the whole button thing if I knew how it worked, but I don't. Because I'm a noob. Which I'm okay with. So, whatever. Okay. Get out. Let's go. 